next time we're gonna do the play command. Today's video is proudly powered by our partner, Oxide Hosting. Get your products hosted by them with their cheap, reliable services. So what are you waiting for? Check them out in the description below. Hey everyone, Duncan here from Enyadox and welcome back to another GDA tutorial. Today we're gonna work on tying the two clauses we made in the previous two episodes together into one clause. To do that, we firstly want to create a class called Galt Music Manager. So, Galt Music Manager. And this Galt Music Manager is in the Lava Player package. I'm gonna start off by creating two variables, which is a private final audio player. Audio player. And this is the audio player that we can use to play tracks. You've seen this before. And we're also going to create a variable for our track scheduler and turns out that these need to be public apparently. So public and public final track scheduler. I'm going to call this scheduler. Next up we're going to create a constructor. And in the constructor we will pass an audio player manager and we're gonna call this manager and this manager is gonna help us with creating the audio player so this dot player equals manager dot create player or sorry this dot audio player equals manager dot create player next up we're going to assign the scheduler so this dot scheduler equals a new track scheduler and this track scheduler is going to get this dot audio player as argument and we're going to add the scheduler as a listener to the audio player this dot audio player dot add listener this dot scheduler Finally, we're gonna create. Finally, we're gonna create one more variable, which is the let's say private final audio player send handler. Send handler. We're gonna say this dot send handler equals a new audio player send handler, and we're gonna pass the audio player's argument. And for that, we will create a getter. So we can use it everywhere. So in short, what this class does, it will create a new audio player. Then it will assign a track scheduler and a sendings handler that we can use to use in our player manager. And our player manager is going to be a new class, which is in the lava player package as well. And we're going to call this player manager. And this player manager is going to be a singleton, which means that it only has one instance, which is a private static instance. Oh, private static player player manager, which is called the instance. And at the bottom, we're going to create a uh, private static player manager come on player manager get instance we will return we will return instance but because instance is not assigned we'll only assign it when we need it so if instance is null instance equals a new player manager Next up, we're going to create two variables, which is a audio player manager from Lava Player and a map, which maps the gold IDs to gold music managers. These two variables will be assigned in the constructor, which is this dot music manager is just a new hash map, and this dot audio player manager equals a new default audio player manager 
but by default this audio play manager does not know what YouTube or anything is. So to learn this player manager what a YouTube video is or what a Bandcamp video is, we need to teach it something. Which Lava player conveniently has a helper method for? Audio source managers. No, oh, managers. Dot. Register remote sources. This dot audio player manager. And we have the same thing for register local source because there's just one local source. Next up, we will create a method to get a music manager for a gold. So public gold music manager get music manager for a gold and it's very important that we well, oh, and it's very important that we actually import the gold here and not the gold ID you will see it in a second so what we will do here is return this dot music manager dot compute if absent gold dot get ID long and in here we will have the gold ID returned which is actually really nice. So if it's not present, so what we will need to do in here, we first of all we need to create a gold music manager. Uh, gold music manager equals to a new gold music manager with the audio player manager as parameter, which we will need to return as well. But before we return that, what we want to do is say gold dot get audio manager dot set sendings handler gold music manager dot get send handler what this will do is it will tell JDA what to use for sending the audio which is in this case the gold music manager sendings handler which will be this clause Finally, we will create a load and play method for loading tracks in here. Public void load and play. This will take in a text channel. I'm just going to call this channel. And this will take in a string, which is the track URL. Oops, no comma there. The first thing that we will need to do is get the music manager. To do this, we can simply say this dot get music manager channel dot get gold and just gonna create a, a variable from this. Then we're gonna say this dot audio player manager dot load item ordered. And as you can see, this takes in a few parameters. It takes in any object as ordering key, the identifier, which is in this case a track URL, and the result handler, which we will need to create ourselves. As the ordering key, we can just easily take the music manager because that's something we can access very easily. The identifier is the track URL. And now we're going to say new new audio load result handler. And this load result handler is an interface that returns all sorts of methods. But we're just going to focus on a very simple implementation of the track loaded. Because if a single track is loaded, we can say music manager dot scheduler. And we're going to queue. The, the audio track and this will append the audio tech track to the queue or play it if no track is playing as you can see by this method which we coded in a previous episode next up we will need to send a message so for that we will just do cha channel dot send message and I'm just gonna say adding to 
Q. I can never type Q. Uh, we're gonna use a back tick. I'm just going to oh, append some string, which is track. Oh, track. Dot get info. Dot get. Dot title. Then we're gonna append two back ticks with by in between. I'm just gonna copy this line real quick because I'm lazy and this will be the author and then we're gonna queue this track off and what this will do it will just create a message but before sending it we will append some stuff to the string builder like adding to the queue track name by track author whoops and with that, we have already come to the end of this episode. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe to Menulux if you haven't already. And I see you guys next time with another tutorial where we will make the play command. Goodbye. <laughs>